Hello and welcome in today's Grand Salimo 7 video we are going over a money making method would there be no January update content is rather dry so we are going to be going over some fun ways to make a load of credits so if you don't want to miss out on that don't forget to hit that subscribe button so for today's money making method we are going to be using the Lamborghini Ventador SV now in my opinion this is one of the best cars in Grand Turismo 7 it has tons of power handles amazingly and overall it's just a fun car to drive the car is available for purchase in brand central for a staggering 500,000 credits now that is a steep price but we're gonna look at it as an investment because after you spend roughly another 200,000 credits upgrading this car this car will be able to make you over 800,000 credits within half an hour now the race that we are going to be doing is the 700 performance points while touring car around Le Mans this race is a bit tricky because it features dynamic weather so yes you may start off the event with the sun shining but by the end of it it could be pouring down the rain so it is something and an added element that you need to watch out for but in my personal opinion this is one of my favorite races because it just improves your overall driving and enjoyment of the game now this is a tune that you're going to be using for this particular race so you can pause it now and copy it down or just listen to what i say and just fill it out for tires you're going to equip racing hard but you also need to purchase racing intermediate tires just in case it begins to rain you need a fully customizable racing suspension the settings are as follows body height adjustment 95 95 anti roll bar is going to be 10 10 dampening ratio compression is going to be 40 40 dampening ratio expansion is going to be 50 50 natural frequency is going to be 3.70 in the front and 3.90 in the rear negative camber angle in the front is going to be 1.9 and in the rear 1.3 and finally toe angle is going to be 0, 0.00 for both front and rear differential we're going to use the standard diff and for torque vection differential that's going to be standard for downforce the front is going to be 210 and the rear is going to be 410 your fully customizable ECU is going to be set at 70. Your ballast is going to be set at 121. Your ballast positioning is going to be at negative 26. And your power restrictor is going to be set at 70. Standard transmission. Your air cleaner, silencer, exhaust manifold, brake system, brake pads, as well as your clutch and flywheel all need to be racing and under propeller shaft you can see all of the internal upgrades they have installed on this car's engine now with us having the tune applied it's time for the race so before the race even starts you need to bump your fuel map up to six it needs to be as lean as possible and we see that that gives us 2.2 laps of fuel which means we are going to have to refuel this car quite often but that is not a problem at all because this car with its power limited it still produces over 400 brake horsepower and against these group 4 vehicles it is plenty now i do want you to pay close attention to my actual throttle control as you will see that i actually let off some corners and just let the car coast and let it carry its speed that does help you save some bits of fuel but it's nothing drastic i mean i'm playing with an automatic transmission which means i am i am not trying to fuel save whatsoever so now on the main straightaway we see how powerful the lamborghini actually is even with it being on fuel map 6 we go flying past the ai doing almost 300 kilometers per hour you know as in fact we just click on over two three hundred kilometers per hour before we have to get on the brakes now one thing that i do need to mention the ai difficulty is on hard now this is just to see that the car is able to complete and finish in first with the difficulty being as hard as possible personally when i like money grinding 
I set it to easy so I know there's no stress and I don't have to really fight or think that much. It's more of just making it easier for myself to get the credits. Now for the entirety of the first lap we are going to keep the car on fuel map 6. If we skip ahead we see that by the time we reach the end of the first lap we are already in first position and we have 63% of fuel remaining. So now we set the fuel map over to fuel map 3 and let it run. Now the car is feeling a little bit more lively because it has more power and it can run with less restriction. Now I do drop it down to fuel map 1 when we reach the beginning of the straight so we can fully belt it. So for first lap you leave it on fuel map 6 throughout. Second lap you can play between the fuel maps when you're on the straight line then fuel map 1 give it all the power it got and see how fast that you can actually get your Lamborghini Aventador to go. For me I was doing over 300 kilometers per hour and thinking about it that is actually incredible compared to the speeds of the group 4 vehicles it made the race a piece of cake but after doing this my car needed to be filled up. When I got to this part of the circuit is now when I flipped the fuel map all the way back to fuel map level 6 because I saw how much fuel I had remaining and I knew I needed to get to the pits. So for the rest of this lap I remained in fuel map 6. And by doing this I reached the pit lane with 14% of fuel remaining. Now this is when I looked over at my tires and I saw they were in still good condition. So don't touch the tires we only came to refuel so we waited about our usual standard half an hour to come into a pit lane and refuel and then we headed back on out and now when we came out this is when I realized that we came out in eighth position and I looked on the mini map and I saw that there was rain coming so I made a bit of a mess up if I would have checked the map before I went into the pits, I would have seen that the rain was coming and I would have swapped on over to the intermediate tires to avoid me having to go into the pits. So I knew immediately I was going to be going back into the pits because of my silly error. Now you will never have the exact same race. For example, how I have rain now coming up on the third lap, you may not even see rain during your race. So, as I said, you just have to monitor it yourself. This is just a base guide on how to do the race using this vehicle. The circuit then became so wet that the car just couldn't handle it. I ended up sliding off and I lost valuable time and just valuable places in the race. But I didn't feel too worse about myself because I saw that AI themselves was also struggling. So once we came into the pits, I knew change over to intermediate and let the car refuel because when I do come out, I need to push as hard as possible, which means I'm gonna burn a lot of fuel. So after the tire change and the addition of extra fuel, we head on out on circuit and we see that we come out in seven position. Now, as you can see from the AI, because of the weather, they are all, oh, I'm too scared to put, to put my foot down. Oh no, it's too dangerous. Trampled. Your Lamborghini has enough power all the time. Even if you do slide, it's super easy to regain control of the vehicle. And before you know it, we're in third position. And as you can see, second place, fighting a bit too hard there, and we make the overtake. It's really, this car makes the job incredibly easy. So now we're gonna skip quite a bit ahead to where even the rain has dissipated. So now, Something that you do need to remember is the lap after you refuel, you need to keep the car in fuel map 6 the entire lap. Then the following lap, you can change it over to when you're going around corners, fuel map 3. And when you're going down the main straightaways, you put it on fuel map 1. And when you see that the car starts to go below 20% fuel remaining, then drop it down to fuel map 6. You need to make it as lean as possible so you know for certain you're going to be able to complete the lap. And before you know it, you're going to be seeing that you already finished the race. Your 30 minutes is up and you have finished in first position. And you will be greeted with 825,000 credits 
coming into your account and doing this race once allows you to complete your daily workout but let's say you don't have 30 minutes to do a race and you need your daily workout completed well click on screen now to see the fastest way to do so with all this being said hope you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe for more money making methods in class 7 and i'll see you in the next one peace